I'm back in Milan, Italy, and I am taking you on a food tour. We will try pizza, pasta, and more. Uno, due, tre, siete pronti? Andiamo. Here's the cappuccino, let's try it out. Andiamo. One appetito. Okay guys, let's start off here. I am so hungry, so I saw this pizza shop, pizza restaurant filled up, so let's try it out guys. Look at I think I'm gonna get that for sure. As meat, meat lovers or something. Let's see what they have. They got pizza classic and a specialita stag stagionale. Rom Antica. Let's see. Now this is by weight. So they're gonna weigh it and that's how you get the price. Let's see. Let's go on a food tour, shall we? Let's see, look at that. That looks amazing. Look at that, bro. Buongiorno! This is meat, huh? Picante. I'll try it, I'll try it like a little of that. I wanna try it different, different. I'll try some of this, like a little bit. Can you get, can you do, can I do half? Because I wanna try something else, a half of that. How much is that? 350 euro? Okay. Uh, let's see. What is this? This uh, tuna and a radish. And radish. Um, I want to try just a little piece with the olive. This little bit spicy. Okay. It's spicy? Little bit. What is that one with all the tomatoes? Okay. No, the tomatoes. Uh, only tomato, yeah, spice. Spicy? Yeah. You have anything that's not spicy? Not spice. Uh, this is tomato or olive? Spicy? Little bit. Little bit? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what do you have that's not spi Not that spicy? Please. I think I'll go, I think I'll get a small piece with the olive, it's fine. Small. Can you get small? Oh, that's minimum. Um, let's see. Okay, I'll just stick with that. Check out my pizza. This is by weight. This place is called Rom Antica. 1850 euro per kilogram, and this weighs 0.19 kilograms. So the price 352 euro. I am starving, marvelous. Let's eat, shall we? One appetito. Uno, due, tre, tre. Siete pronti? Andiamo. Absolutely delicious. It was 
so fresh and um, the only thing is you don't get for that little slice that costs 350 euro so as far as bang for your box you don't get the best deal so I'm gonna give this a 4.5 stars are you a YouTuber? Yes, yes. Oh, when? I give you my channel. Yeah. I found this really nice place, and uh, surprisingly, look, they gave a cappuccino for only 150 euro, mm -hmm. as well, and it's sit down too. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Normal. Usually, it costs a lot more when you when you have it at the restaurant. Sit down compared to like stand at the counter. Yeah, but like here, it's quite cheap. Yeah. Here's the cappuccino. Let's try it out. It's nice. Mm, it's a nice cappuccino. Perfect. I wish they would make the milk a little bit hotter though. I noticed that they they warm it up to a warm temperature, but I like it a little hotter. I'm at a place called Luini and I'm gonna get a panzerati fritti. It's like a fried, uh, it's like a, what do you call no? It's a fried, I'm filming myself, calzone. It's a fried calzone. And I'm gonna get the mozzarella with the tomato. Yeah, I think that's the one. Pomodoro. Yeah, pomodoro. Okay, al forno is by oven and fritti is fried. So, this is the place. Pan Panzerotti Luini. She didn't let me record inside, but this is the place. Let's go eat this. Let's try it. I am so hungry and thirst thirsty. Let's try it out. First with the San Pellegrino salute. <laughs> Very nice. There it is. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. I think I'll get it with the paper. Oh no. Due, tre, siete pronti? Andiamo. Wow. That is amazing. Mm. That is so good. It's like fried bread with the cheese and tomato. It's like a fried pizza. Mm. With the fresh mozzarella. I might have to go back for another one. I was in Arizona when I tried the Native American fried bread. This is a five five star snack right here at Luini. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mamma mia, delicioso.
how does that look guys how does that look how expensive does that look because a slice of tiramisu in milan will cost you like nine euros easily let's see if this tiramisu stacks up to the other tiramisu in milan let's go look at that I can see the lady fingers, the chocolate powder, the lady fingers. Let's see if it has any alcohol. The cocoa powder that's cut into it. Wow. Cuts very nice. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Layers. The different layers. Uno, two, three, siete frati, andiamo. Mm. That's delicious. You got like, how many lady fingers you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, actually, it's like two lady fingers, and that's just the, the cream. Look at that. You can taste the coffee too. Look at that. Amazing. So good. Cleanse the palate with some San Pellegrino. I would have gotten a coffee, but it's already almost 8 o'clock, 7.30. Over in Italy, sparkling water is my drink. Water, water, sparkling water, bottled water, I mean, sparkling water, and occasionally a Coke, but those are my drinks here. Look at that, it's beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. That's a five star tiramisu right here. Mamma mia, delicioso. So, look at that, I finished it, it's delicious. That's a five star tiramisu. And the price will surprise you, it will shock you because tiramisu in Milano cost nine euros and above this tiramisu only cost me 290 euro and guess where i got this comment below and tell me where you where you think i got this are you guys ready the review mcdonald's baby mcdonald's a lot of people like the mcdonald's here it's different from it'll be different from the mcdonald's in the states that's for sure they also got macarons all kinds of delicious desserts and cafe drinks that they serve in a cup for you right here in a ceramic cup so let's move on to the next spot when i said uh the time is let's check 8 43 p.m and i returned to the restaurant that i stumbled upon earlier in the day and the name is Via Pastaria, the street of pasta. I ordered the carbonara. And look, you can choose the sizes. You can choose a regular or a large. It's 16 for the regular and 21 for the large. Check it out, check it out. This is the restaurant, check it out. Nice, very cozy restaurant. The water here is free. He gave me a pitcher of water. And I have a... Uh, it's beeping, so maybe it's ready. No, I think when it turns green, it'll be ready. Salute. Cheers to Milan, Italy. My food has arrived. I got the carbonara. This is maceroni carbonara with aged and peppered guanciale. Check that out. Beautiful dish. Beautiful. 
I got the large and this is 16 euro if you get the regular no this is 21 euro and the regular is 16 euro let's eat the service is so good they gave me the iced water with lemon a pitcher and man just absolutely amazing service look at that one one appetito okay let's try it this is homemade all the pasta here is homemade uno due tre siete pronti andiamo you could really taste the egg I need to get a spoon. Which utensils with the spoon? Let's try some of the. This is the pork. Let's try it. Wow. That's what's up. That is the guan guan guanciale. That's what's up. This is the original because the, the version with bacon is not the original this is the original but i did notice that the carbon oh yeah you can get the carbonara in either a spaghetti a noodle form or you can get it in this version I think this is a penne okay The actual cheese, it's, just, it's supposed to be, I believe the cheese is supposed to be um, pecorino. This originated in Rome, and um, that's a Roman cheese, that's a Roman cheese, pecorino. Pecorino Romano. This is the original cheese. And the uh, guanciale is the pork, the cheek, the cheek of the pork. So it's very fatty, which is delicious. And then you see the nice touches of fresh ground pepper right there. Fresh ground pepper. I just found that. Right there. You want the version with the spaghetti noodle? You had to ask for it, and that's what I was thinking that I was gonna get the one with the noodles. So that's good to know for the future. Or if you're gonna come and you want the noodles, make sure to ask for the noodles. I think the noodles would be better for this dish because I think it would it would absorb more of the sauce. Just in my opinion. But the meat, when you get pieces of the meat, that is the money. And I think he gave me some extra some extra cheese to put on top. Let's put some more cheese. Yeah, he heard me talking about the uh, pecorino cheese and he just immediately showed up with the jar of cheese. I'm telling you, it's great service here. Time for the dessert. This is the 
tiramisu. I had a tiramisu earlier at McDonald's. Let's see how this one compares. This is seven euro. Let's check it out. Got the cocoa powder on top. And look at that. Let's, let's cut into it. Let's dig into it. Ooh, look. Look at the layers, guys. We got the cream, the cake, and maybe the lady finger on the bottom. Uno, due, tre, siete, tranti, andiamo. Let's try. Perfect. Wow. Mm. Now that, now that, my friend, is a tiramisu. Now that is a good tiramisu. Mamma mia. The aftermath of my tiramisu. This is where all the fresh pasta is kept. Look at it. They make it here in the house. That's it. I'm done.